Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new. My name is Dream and today is going to be a precious video because we are adding spring touches to our home. So spring is probably, if I never changed my decor and had like a steady decor, it would probably be spring with the flowers and the light airy colors, all of that stuff I absolutely love. But I'm excited to just soften up our home just a bit, make it light, airy, and get ready for this spring Easter season. Um, first things first, we are going to start off with a few vessels that I have um, with existing greenery. And we're just going to add little floral touches to those vessels just to spruce them up and make them more spring-like. Um, I'm going to flip you guys around and we'll start with that. So guys, these are the vessels that I pull. These we always have it out in our home. This one is in the laundry room. This one I had out on the kitchen table. And then this one is on our hutch. Um, this I usually will put greenery in it and it goes near our soap dispenser. And then I'm gonna create a little something something in this little precious sweet um, coffee mug and put it in our kitchen. I have two of them. I'm going to stack it, create a little greenery thing and put them in our kitchen um, for this spring season. So I thought that was cute. And then I created these. I have these um, little vessels that I got from Michael's and they have the little tea candle in them. Put that in there. But I just added in some moss which I love it, it's just super messy, and some carrots that I had. The moss is from Michael's and the carrots are from Hobby Lobby. They come in a big pack, but I made two of those and I'm going to add these, oops, to our kitchen tables. So, thought those were pretty simple and easy and cute, kind of old world looking, and I like it. But let's work on these. I do have this greenery. It's from Hobby Lobby and then just some greens that I have. The, I don't know the names of them. I'm so bad with flowers, but these are um, my favorite. They look so realistic and so whimsical. And then I have some, some of these. So Hobby Lobby florals, we're gonna add to these bases just to spruce them up a little bit. I've been hanging on, counting days, thinking it was me all along. Had a million conversations in my head about where it went wrong. And I've got no idea where you've been, who you are, not anymore. All I got is this Polaroid picture of us from June 24th It's where I kissed you for the first time, laid on your sheets You gave me your heart and said you trusted with me But all I did was let you down time and time again It wasn't my intention, maybe we should have been friends So, you're someone I used to know but nobody said it'd be easy But maybe I should've known One more drink to swallow it down I gotta get you out of my mind But nobody said it was easy Maybe I should've known I've been out till late shifting beds Trying to kill the image of you Got a million stupid reasons not to call It's just that I want to Do you remember how we Pulled the drapes in the basement To get away from the world that we couldn't fit in And how we used to walk those empty streets at night In the city lights is where I saw you for the last time Said our goodbyes Sat in the car You saw the pain in my eyes But I just couldn't let you down Time and time again It wasn't my intention Maybe we should have been friends So You're someone I used to know But nobody said it
Okay guys, so in this one, we just added, all of these florals are from Hobby Lobby in this vase as well. Um, we just added, if you know the name of these, let me know down below, but I just added those in. I think it looks really whimsical and fun. And this one we had like a, um, a lighter bunch and I just put it in the middle and fluffed it up, all of that good stuff. I think that looks good. Um, this will go in the laundry room. This container is from Michael's. And then for the little one down here, I just added in the greenery and I popped a little carrot in there. I think that's gonna be cute in the kitchen. And then for this one, I just added in two bushels of stems. So they have like various colors. They even have a little bit of berries on them. And I think that's gonna be really pretty. This vessel is from Hobby Lobby. And then these stems are from um, Michael's. And then for this one, I've had this vessel for a really long time. It's kind of old world. And I just added in, I think this greenery maybe have been from Target, but I just added in the same stems as that. But they have like a different look. So love that, love the arrangements that we created. I think they're gonna freshen up our house for spring and I'm gonna add them throughout. Okay, I pulled this stuff for the kitchen and the kitchen table, and then we're gonna be adding like that, this greenery piece in here as well, and then that one. But let's get decorating. Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name Let's do an overview of the kitchen. I put those two mugs stacked right there and just made a little greenery arrangement behind there. There is a bunny cutting board that I've had forever and ever from Target, but just very simple, very cute. Bunny mugs are from Target as well. They still, they have them every year. Those are $5. And then that carrot's just a bag of carrots that came from Hobby Lobby. And then over here, we just have this Galvanelle's welcome sign with the little bunny and the eggs. That is from um, Michael's. This, I love this thing. This is my, if you are a wax warming girl, like you like to um, have your wax melts, I have this one from Target. I just love the design of it. It's really simple. It's really cute. Um, just love that. And then over here, we just have our little bunny tea towel. I just placed it on top of the other one. And you guys know I love my little um, kickstand from Hearth and Hand Target. But that is it for back here. So just some simple little touches. And then up here, all I added was this floral arrangement that we made earlier and then um, the little bunny. The, this is from Target, this trivet is from Target as well. 
and the bunny is from the Target Dollar Spot. I think it was like $3. Yep, only $3, so very inexpensive. But that is it, just simple little touches. Like I told you guys my tip, buy a vase or a vessel that you really like. It could be from the potting section, whatever, but buy a vessel that you like and just change out the florals. You'll save money and it's much more affordable. On the table, I just created a very simple vignette. Um, I have this um, antique little wood board. My runner is from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I just added in those little old world canisters, added some moss in there, a little bit of um, the carrots, a uh, rechargeable or faux candle, really easy, and then use my existing greenery from Hobby Lobby and then added in these florals and that's it. And my little hutch I have over here, the only thing I changed was on top. I added in those florals. We have this plant. This planter is from Walmart. And this plant is actually a faux plant that I got from Target. The real plant we had in there didn't make it, so I took a faux plant that I had in my kid's bathroom, I put it in there, added more of that moss, there you go. We have this little moss bunny, and then more moss with a little egg there. I just have to fix that up a little bit, but just really, really simple. And here I didn't really change anything, just the stuff that I normally have in there. A mantle, super duper easy, greenery, like I said, from Hobby Lobby. And I just hang up, I, this mantle piece, my husband and my um, dad built this when we moved into our house for me. So this mantle piece right here is from like the 1800s. So it has a lot of cracks, crevices, but that's why I love it. It's the, a very old piece of wood in a very new built house. Um, it just, you know, adds that charm, character, all that stuff. But to hang up my different garlands, you guys know I use garlands for most of the different seasons. I just stick it in the cracks and crevices because there's a lot of them. So this one I just stuck back there and the garland just looks so pretty like my mantle, this is probably my favorite piece in our home. So, so pretty. And then on this side, there's like a crack here and I just, you know, stuck it in there. So that's how I hang up all of my garland. And then, love spring ambiance. It's free on YouTube and you can change out the pictures. Okay guys, we are in the playroom and we're gonna add a little, a few little um, spring touches up here. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder Okay, on this side we just hung up I have this little bunny bag that I got for my daughter from the Target Dollar Spot a few years ago the carrot in there is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just added the little um, eggs to the wreath. And then here we just have near our book basket, we just have these two sweet little bunnies. So I think that area came out cute. Um, over here, we store like art supplies and stuff in these, in this area but I just added a sweet little sign, um, a little egg, and then a little carrot stack. And then on the sofa, we just added that sweet little pillow to go along with the other pillows that are on there. 
Back here, I just have this little Easter garland I hung over her little kitchen. I added in this teapot and then that sweet tea towel and then this little basket filled with eggs. And then in her bedroom, we did add a few little sweet Easter touches. I added this little Happy Easter sign. It's like the back of a bunny. On her dresser here, I added in this little sweet little bunny with a little pink nose. Over here, I just put up her Easter basket. I just hung it on one of her hooks. We have this little squish marshmallow bunny that we I just added there. And then here, she's had these flowers that my husband got her since Valentine's Day, but they're still going strong. And then I added this sweet little bunny there, and then just this little bunny puzzle. Not bunny, egg puzzle. Okay guys, I'm gonna share with you guys her March library. Um, in March, we have a lot going on. We have Easter this year at the end of March. We have St. Patrick's Day, the usual, on the 17th of March. Um, March is Women's History Month. Um, so I have, I tried to pull books from our collection that will like encompass all of that. So I'll show you guys what I have. So as far as like Easter spring, I have this Happy Easter Biscuit book, this All Ears book, we're going on an Easter egg hunt, first um, prayers and blessings, 10 little Easter eggs, and then St. Patrick's Day, I pulled How to Catch a Leprechaun, um, a, Peppa, a little Peppa Pig action, but St. Patrick's Day, and then the Night Before St. Patrick's Day book. Um, I have this Little Leaders Bold Woman in History book to add to her collection. And then the rest are kind of filler books that I like to have, I just added in. So our table, this is a good one, especially during Easter time. Oftentimes we get together as, you know, with our families. So this is um, a really good book, love that one. I pulled I Am Supergirl, thought that was a good one. And then Say Something, this is also a really good one. This one is precious. Remember to dream. Um, love, love, love this book. Really precious. And then I have this Thank You God for Daddy book. And then this Jesus Love Me book. So those are some of the books that I pulled for her March library. We always go to the library. We'll grab a few from there. And typically in her Easter basket, I'll add a book or two. Um, to go along with the spring season. But that is it, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you got some inspo or ideas if you are planning on decorating your home. We are not done decorating yet. We still need to tackle like the front porch. We're probably going to add a few touches to the back porch. And then um, I do want to do a few DIYs for spring. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon with another spring related video. Bye guys.